Hair loss after COVID? Let's figure this out. SARS-CoV-2 infection screws up the production and distribution of a gas called nitric oxide. It's a signaling gas in your body that needs to hit a sweet spot for basically anything to work right. I've discussed this with fibromyalgia also. Too much is pain, too little, also pain. In this situation, too much nitric oxide means direct damage to hair follicles. Basically, they get fried and you end up with a condition known as telogen effluvium. Yes, I know that sounds like a spell from Harry Potter, but really it just means your follicles are stuck in the shedding phase. Now, for most folks in this situation, your hair will grow back in six months or less, but some people want to jumpstart that process. And if it doesn't grow back on its own, it's important to rule out serious underlying conditions that could be possible here like anemia or hypothyroidism. So talk to your primary. But if you want to speed this along or you've waited six months and nothing is happening, you can use an all-natural two-stage process from Chinese medicine. The first is Wind Tea and MicroGuard Plus. We use these for many presentations of long-haul COVID. Check out the long-haul playlist if you want to learn more, but basically we're making sure the virus is out of your system, your microbiome is in a happy place and nitric oxide is hitting that sweet spot again. Stage two of this process is a formula called Pankwa Yinzi. This is clinically shown to help express the gene that triggers hair regrowth. As always, if you want to see the science that validates the tradition, everything is up on my website. If you decided to bring this home, make sure you use that. How has long COVID affected you? Chime in in the comments, we'll figure it out.